Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Bland, and I want to share something with you that I think is very, very interesting. You know, I'm in that 75-year group, and so I had the opportunity to get my uh, COVID vaccination. And um, this is a discussion not about vaccination, but about what I learned about my immune system. And I think you'll find this kind of interesting. So it turns out that we just recently published an article uh, that's uh, just appeared in the medical literature. In fact, you can download this from PubMed and uh, print it out if you'd like. It's called COVID-19 Risk, Clinical Tools for Assessing and Personalizing Immunity. And in this article, we discuss various ways that one might assess your immune system using different kinds of surrogate markers. Some of these surrogate markers that are built on our physiological status are accessible through new biometric devices, things that we wear. One that I've been wearing and the multiple things that over the years is this uh, Aura Ring. And I want to talk a little bit about what I learned from my Aura Ring experience through this process of vaccination. So to really explain it quickly, um, let me go to the app that uh, you have uh, on your smart device from the Aura Ring. And it tells you kind of each day what your overall aggregate uh, state of fitness is or, or health. So just to give you an idea, uh, on Wednesday, uh, the 27th of uh, January, um, it was, uh, they normally range somewhere between mid 80s to 90s for me, which is, is I feel good. So on Friday, uh, excuse me, the next day, uh, my score was 83. So you can see where it's kind of ranging. Then at that afternoon, uh, I had my vaccination. I had a little bit of a sore arm as the day went on. Went to bed, got up the next morning <clears throat> and still sore arm, but no real symptoms. Didn't really feel like I was having any problem. Uh, and then I picked up my <laughs> a smart device and looked at my Aura Ring score. Yikes, 60. This is the lowest I've ever seen by like <clears throat> 20 points. How did that happen? Well, you have to go look inside the uh, algorithm. So what I found was my pulse rate went up at night, my body temperature went up, my heart rate variability went down, and my respiration rate went up slightly, <clears throat> meaning my body was under stress. Well, how long did it stay? Well, then let's go to the next day. So I'm now 36 hours after I got my vaccine. And yikes. 57, my body's still under stress. Now the irony is I'm not feeling sick. I'm going to work. I'm participating in a normally, uh, normal day's activities, but clearly my immune system is under stress as illustrated by these values. Now what happens the next day? Again, I'm living the same life, I'm living in the same place, eating the same foods. So the next day, 81. And then the following day, 87. So what does this tell us? It tells us that our body through these surrogate markers on our biometrics is telling us how our immune system is functioning. Things that you may never have thought about before, that all of these are surrogate indicators or physiological indicators of our immunological vigilance, which is then when it's immune activated, sucking energy out of our body to support our immune system. And we then see these data in our biometrics well before we would be sick or well before we would actually start to say, oh, I definitely have an immunological problem. So I think this is a very, very interesting part of our emerging story as to how we actually can get a better understanding of our immune system status using tools that are now available. Again, it was my learning curve. I hope I shared with you something that you might find useful as well. Thank you.